Kurt Cobain's most played Fender Mustang, Sky Stang 1, recently sold at auction for $1.5 million, officially making it one of the top 10 most expensive guitars ever sold. Today is the 30th anniversary of Nirvana's final show, March 1st, 1994, in Munich, Germany. Of the little bit of video and the few photos that we have, the only guitar we can see Kurt playing at this final show is Sky Stang 1. This has long been my favorite guitar of all time. After many years of modding my own Mustang, I am extremely excited to present my nearly one-for-one -one Sky Stang 1 replica, which started out as a stock Kurt Cobain signature Mustang. To commemorate and recognize the 30th anniversary of the final time Kurt played this guitar on stage, in this video, I will show in detail the transformation of my Mustang and all the mods that were done to it, compare it to the real deal, and show you how every pickup combination sounds. I got my Fender Kurt Cobain signature Mustang back in early 2014. I remember I had been saving up for a long time. I had just worked a 12-hour Black Friday shift at my first retail job and proudly used that paycheck to purchase this guitar. I got it for $700 on eBay. Its condition was refurbished, but in reality, it was brand new. It came with the plastic protective film on the pickguard and with all the tags. A cool one in particular being this one, advertising that you could redeem a Smells Like Teen Spirit vinyl single while supplies last. I immediately tried to claim one, but this model had been out for two years at that point, so it was too late. Fender released these models for a very short period of time, from 2012 to around 2014. They have since become collector's items, with prices skyrocketing on the second-hand market. Fender was given Sky Stang 2 and Orange Stang from the Cobain Estate to document, measure, and replicate for these models. They were available in these three colors with the Fiesta Red model being the most historically accurate of the three. I had seen Sky Stang 3 in person at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame just a few years prior. That was the first time I had seen a Kurt Cobain guitar in person. It left a huge impression on me and it became my favorite guitar at the time. So I initially really liked that my Mustang had a black JB as it made me think of this guitar in this experience. I kept it stock for over 10 years and used it that way very heavily, live and in studio with my band Ithamid. The distinguishing stock features of this model are the Mustang neck single coil pickup with a cream cover, the black Seymour Duncan JB, black pickup switches, an ABR1 2-nomadic bridge. If you want to learn the differences between all three Sky Stangs in detail, check out this video. It'll be linked here and in the video description. It didn't take long for me to start to prefer the Sky Stang 1 look of a white JB and white pickup switches. I was hesitant for a very long time to change that on mine, as I was worried it would decrease the value. One day, I finally snapped out of it, realizing that I would be much happier with the Sky Stang 1 look and even if it does decrease its value, this is one that I will never sell anyway. So after 10 years of hesitating, I modded it to be accurate to Sky Stang 1 during the American In Utero Tour. White single coil cover, white JB, small post, Nashville style tunomatic bridge, and white pickup switches. I was so happy when I finally did this. Even though the guitar sounded the same as before, it felt like I had just gotten a brand new guitar. I regret taking so long to finally do this. When I had it in this form, I had plenty of people ask me right away if I would ever mod it to the European tour specs of cut pickup switches and body mounted JB. I always said no, as the American leg of the In Utero Tour is my favorite time period of the band. I truly never thought that I would ever have the desire to mod mine any further. But all of that changed when I had that life-changing day of holding and playing the actual Sky Stang 1. I was invited by Julian's Auctions to document the actual guitar shortly before they were going to announce its auction. Not only did I have access to a guitar that meant so much to me, I also met Kurt's brother Chad Cobain and Kurt's guitar tech Ernie Bailey there. Ernie is the one who first handed the guitar to me. I asked him questions about it while holding it extremely surreal experience that was truly a dream come true. I documented and measured every part of this historic guitar that time allowed me to, and all the information I gathered is presented in this video. Again, it'll be linked here and in the video description. 
On the plane ride home from this experience, I couldn't stop thinking about how I wanted my own sky staying to look like the actual sky staying as it was in my lap as I played heart shaped box and radio friendly unit shifter on it. My good friend Jeff at Lomit Guitars made this a reality. I sent him my Mustang for a European tour makeover. He made a custom pickguard using the close up photos I took of the actual guitar and perfectly replicated its unique and distinct tort pattern. Looking at the V on my own Sky Stang brings me right back to when I had the actual V right in front of me. This pick guard is an early prototype of his Sky Stang 1 replica guards. It's truly beautiful, but his final version is even better and he has them available right now. Purchase link to this pick guard will be in the video description. Jeff pick guard mounted the JB and went the extra mile of damaging it just like Kurt's. It's now a mirror image of the actual pickup. The right corner is chewed up and the Seymour Duncan logo is now scratched off. I had always believed that Kurt himself did this to the logo, but when I asked Ernie about it in person, I learned that day that actually Ernie himself did it while installing the pickup. Another thing that Ernie shared with me that day is the shim that he used on the neck was actually an Andy Griffith show playing card. He used this because he thought the Floyd the Barber connection was funny. Being the obsessive and over the top completist that I am, I bought a Floyd the Barber playing card and had Jeff use that as the shim. Jeff also cut the pickup switches. As I presented in my video, I always believed that these were cut because Kurt would accidentally switch them while strumming. That's the information that's been out there for years and what was generally just accepted as fact. But I recently connected with Jim Vincent, who was Kurt's guitar tech for the last nine dates of the American leg of the Neuro Tour and for the entire European leg. He shared with me the real reason why Kurt asked him to cut the switches on his guitars. It wasn't because he was accidentally switching them, but it was because they were cutting his hand and making him bleed while playing. A small detail that was mind blowing to learn from the person who actually performed these mods. He used a Dremel to cut the switches. It just goes to show that there's still so much we don't know about Kurt's gear and absolutely nothing is 100% confirmed or definitive unless it comes from someone who was there. I am extremely excited to say my Sky Stang has gone from signature model to replica status in my opinion. It's truly a thrill to play and even just to look at. It brings up a lot of emotions and memories. It brings to mind all the footage and recordings of Kurt playing my favorite guitar and also brings me right back to the day I had the real deal in my own hands. You will now hear me demo this guitar on all the pickup positions, both clean and distorted. If you're looking to hear a more straightforward Nirvana tone demo with this guitar using only the JB, these two show tone videos will be linked in the video description. In this video, you'll be hearing how all the pickup combinations sound. I'm using my In Utero Tour Tone recreation settings with my Sansam Classic and Fender Twin Reverb. Hope you enjoy. Let me know what you think.
Taco Goo 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 Goo. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram at Nirvana Guitars and subscribe and check out my other Nirvana gear videos right here on YouTube.